Dateline, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. In last week's episode, the Obliterator stole the Wisdom Cube and tried to destroy all of King City's wisdom. Scripture Guy and Kingdom Crusader had to enlist the help of the last wise man in town, the Philistine. Did they find him? Would he help them? Or will it be too late to save our city? Find out right now in the next exciting installment of King City Chronicles! Thanks for helping us out, Uncle Phil. I mean, uh, Philistine. Uh, how's that invention coming along? Just a moment. You can't rush perfection. Okay. And voila! <laughs> it's ready! The heart shield! Huh, what does it do? It protects one's heart. If the obliterator were to try to use the wisdom cube against us, we cover our heart and he cannot steal our wisdom. <laughs> huh, but I thought wisdom was part of your mind. No, that's intelligence. Oh. Intelligence means being educated or smart. Wisdom comes from God and he puts it in our heart. Hey, I remember that rhyme. You used to say that to me when I was a little kid. I used to say it to Casey. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Are you Casey? Yes, it's me, Casey Carter. Wow. This city is so full of surprise reunions. Oh, does, does Scripture Guy know who you are? Oh, no, don't don't tell him who I am. Oh, no, 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 your, your secret's safe with me. Oh, all of these surprise meetings are bringing my mind back to... Simpler times. I was hoping you would remember those days. I remember when you used to obey God's word. Oh, that was so long ago. Mm. And I've spent so many years doing bad things. I don't think I remember how to obey God. Well, don't you think that you could repent and turn back to him? Oh, what use would God have for a naughty fellow like me? Well, anyway, I've got to show this shield to Scripture Guy. Oh, okay. Be good, Casey. I mean, Crusader. You got it. Okay. Oh, gee. Hey, you know what? I bet Uncle Phil lost his Bible, and that's why he can't remember how to obey God. I bet that if he turned to the good news, he could remember how to learn to trust and obey God. I know just the story I would start with, too. I'll get out the good news right now. Hey! Wow. All right. King Josiah, the boy king. Josiah became king when he was just eight years old. Hey, raise your hand if you're eight years old. Wow, that's a lot of you guys. Can, can you imagine if, if all of a sudden God made you guys king over all of Israel? That would be a big responsibility. I don't know what I would do, but, but God showed Josiah what to do. You see, for years, King Josiah and the people of Israel had been doing wrong in the eyes of God. And, and they, didn't even, they didn't even know it. They were worshiping all kinds of false gods and, and ignoring the one true God. Years later, when, when Josiah was a grown-up king, his priest found the long-lost book of the law. That's the scriptures, the Bible. He read it to Josiah, and Josiah was so upset about breaking God's laws that he tore his robes and he cried. Then he did what was right in, the, in God's eyes. He called together all of the elders, all the wise men, the priests, the prophets, and all the people of Jerusalem. He gathered them outside the temple and read them every single word in the book of the law. Right then and there, King Josiah renewed his covenant promise to obey God's word with all of his heart and all of his soul. The people made that same promise to the Lord. And Josiah destroyed all of the false gods and the places where they worshipped. Wow. Who knew an eight-year-old boy king would grow up, to, to grow up and lead God's people to obey it? Hey, 
That's it. Uncle Phil should do what King Josiah did. In fact, everyone in King's city should read God's word and obey it. Huh. Kingdom Crusader. I thought you said that the Philistine was a wise inventor. Well, look at this invention he made. He made a bunch of these little shields, and, and we're supposed to protect our hearts. How are we supposed to defend an entire city with this tiny shield? I, I don't uh, think you understand that it's... it's. Aha! Oh. The Redeem Team together at last. Now I can use the reverse wisdom cube to zap all your smartness away. Oh, no, no. I drink your milkshake. What? Oh. Soon I will be the only wise man in King City. Ready? No. Aim. Get behind me, Crusader. Ah. Oh. It's not working. Huh. How can this be? Wow. Maybe if I turn it up to maximum zapping. Uh -oh. No, cover your heart. All right. No. No. Oh. The shield is reflecting his rays and sapping oh. wisdom from the obliterator. Oh, wow. Whoa. Somehow, I don't feel as smart as I was a minute ago. Yes. Well, well, we should turn to God's word and learn what to say next. The Bible says the king stood by the pillar and renewed the covenant in the presence of the Lord to follow the Lord and keep his commandments, regulations, and decrees with all his heart and all uh, his soul. Uh, my head hurts. Me no like this cube no more. Yes. Bad cube. Me leaving. Me want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Chuck e. Yay, Chucky! It worked! Yes! It worked! Huh. Kingdom Crusader, how did you know to turn to the Word of God? Well, that's what King Josiah did. Huh. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, so, he, had, he had the hunger to do what was right. The Bible says that neither before nor after Josiah was there a king like him who turned to the Lord as he did, with all his heart and all his soul, with all his strength, in accordance with the laws of Moses. Well, I am impressed with you, Kingdom Crusader, and I'm impressed with the Philistine for inventing this little wonderful shield. You know what? We should hold on to this shield. Yeah. And keep it as a reminder to always let the word of God be a shield for our hearts. Absolutely. It really worked. And I told you, Uncle, I'm, I mean, the Philistine is learning to obey God. I think one day he may just learn to trust God. Well, he sure came through today. And so did you by obeying God's word. Oh, it's nothing that any eight-year-old king wouldn't do. I don't know what that means. Oh. But I'll hold on to the shield as a firm reminder. Well, you're right. Reading God's word shows us how to obey him. Well, let's all uh, head over to Chuck E. Cheese, yes. get a hold of that obliterator, and take that wisdom cube away before he tries to use it again. Absolutely. Let's all say our motto together, kids. We, we give everything, everything to honor our king, king to Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. Here oh, we go.